All right, Calvin Green, where are you from originally? From Baytown, Texas. Okay, you're from Baytown, from, from not too far away from here. And how did you first get involved in boxing? Well, my dad, I always loved football. My father wanted me to uh, box because he was a boxer. I used to always get in fights in school, so he told me if I got in one more fight, he was taking me straight to the boxing gym. And the next week, I got in a fight, and I've been boxing since I was nine years old. And uh, who was your trainer over there as an amateur in Baytown? I know there's Juan Lopez over there that has a gym. And uh, who have you trained with uh, as an amateur around Houston? Well, really, uh, my father and uh, Kenny Weldon brought me up okay. uh, as an amateur. All right. And uh, as a pro, I started working with my father. And then my, my father had got a job, got busy. And I had personal layoff, took a layoff, came back, hooked up with Thomas Frank and, and got Ken as a promoter and manager. And so we were on our way. So uh, I, I know Kenny pretty well. I spent a lot of time over at that gym. What was that like learning under him? He's uh, really big on the fundamentals and stuff. Uh, well, uh, he has his style and his philosophy. Well, with Kenny, I won three national titles with Kenny. So. I mean, it was great. I mean, you, you learn a lot from Kenny. I don't think nobody could teach the basics better than Kenny Weldon, so uh, boxing. So I'm, I'm fundamentally sound just because of my background. And uh, so you won three, uh, would you say national or world titles? I won As three a uh, national amateur titles at, with Kenny. I won eight national titles total. And uh, do you remember what your record was as an amateur? Man, probably about somewhere close to about 150 and 27. That is a long, long amateur record. Tell us about how you ended up turning pro then. Well, after the 96, I fought in the 96 Olympic trials. I lost in the semifinals. After that, I just, I was through with the amateur business part of the boxing and decided to turn pro, make a little money. Okay, and uh, you had a pretty, uh, pretty, pretty good career. You had something like 21 and four, or somewhere around there. 21 and four, had my ups and downs. Uh, Tell us about some of your most memorable fights that you can recall so far. Well, my fights, the, the hardest fight I had was uh, my last fight. I got I actually got cut in the uh, first round, second round of the fight. And that was just the hardest fight I had because I never had been cut before. I never had to deal with it. I fought eight rounds with a cut over my left eye, blood bleeding in my eye. I can't see on the left side of my face. So that, that was my hardest fight. The other fights really haven't been too much hard. And that was against Saul, uh, wasn't it? Uh, Saul, I Ramirez, maybe? Right. And uh, where was that fight at? You remember where? That fight was in uh, Lake Charles. Oh, right, right. And so he ended up cutting you early in the fight, but you, you persisted throughout. Uh, tell us again a little bit more about what that is like, you know, having to endure going through and come forward, you know, with that big distraction, especially since you've never been cut before. Well, it's, it was kind of hard because I was fighting a smart fighter, and as I'm coming forward, and I can't see off the lot, left side of my face, all he's doing is circling to my left. So it kind of made it a harder fight. Even though I, when the doctor and my dad stopped the fight, uh, I was up on, on the scorecard by two points just because of my aggression and how aggressive I was. I was bringing a fight to him, and it wasn't for me, it wouldn't have been no fight. So I was up on by two points on the scorecards. It was just the cut it was too bad. The doctor, the doctor said the cut was too bad. And uh, he obviously, again, was capitalizing on it by staying in, in that spot where it was hard for you to see. Right. Well, how's the cut healed up? You don't, you don't look like you have really much scar tissue. Uh, uh, it, 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 it healed pretty good. And uh, my last fight, I didn't have no problems with it. So we're just going to learn and, and keep stepping up from right there. And you're, you're training over here. You got Thomas tra Tate uh, training you. And uh, what's, uh, what, what are you guys working on right now? Well, see, having, well, I'm, 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 I got an advantage of a lot of guys because I've been around world champions all my life training in the gym. And uh, with Thomas training, it's just, a, it's just a little help and a little extra because he's been in there and gone through what I'm trying to go through. So we learn right now, we learn on movement, little minor moves and punching off of the movements and turns and just trying to get stronger. And now you had a five year layoff. Uh, tell us what, what that was all about. Uh, a lot of work, just working. And I had been boxing probably since I was young. You know what I'm saying? I had a little personal problems. I had just needed a layoff. I probably had been boxing probably for like 20 years already before I took the layoff. I know the feeling completely. And so now what's it like coming back? Obviously you're a little older. A little harder maybe to wake up in the morning and get going and uh, 
maybe you feel the soreness a little bit longer than what you did when you were 20 years old or not? What do you, what do you think about that? It's crazy because I really don't feel sore or my body feels young. I haven't been any, I didn't have any wars. I didn't, I didn't, I haven't lost too much. And so uh, my body actually feels good. Like I'm young, you know, I'm, and by me lifting the weights and, uh, I, see, I never lift weights when I was boxing. So for me to come here and start lifting weights and all my joints feel like I'm young again, you know, my body, my muscles feel like I'm all like I'm young again. So I, I actually feel good and ready to go. Because that rest really worked out well for you. You took right, five years right. off and now you're ready to come back and, and devote to it. And so what do you all have coming up? Any, any uh, you know, fights on the horizon? Well, we got a, a, a Texas title fight coming up. I'm going to fight for the Texas title. So we, I'm just getting ready for that fight. Right? Do you know who your opponent's going to be? I actually do know his name. Well, I seen his name. I really can't recall. All right. His name. Is he going to be here in Houston, or actually going to be here in Houston? All right. Well, we look forward to seeing you. Best of luck on uh, on your future endeavors. Thanks for taking time to talk with us. Thanks. All right.